The woman charged in connection to the death of a two year old back in 2020 has pled to a lesser charge with a max sentence of 30 years instead of life in prison. Anna Harris attended her plea hearing today and brings us more of the story, plus the victim's mother's reaction. Two year old Alex Young was found unconscious after being in a backyard pool in May of 2020 and died a few days later. Stephanie Ann Johnson was watching him at the time and it was initially ruled an accident until the investigation found she had Google searched and searched YouTube videos for how to get water out of lungs and didn't call 911 until over an hour later. Johnson accepted an offered plea today, pleading guilty to inflicting great bodily injury upon a child to avoid a homicide by child abuse charge and maintain her innocence. This would take her max sentence from life to 20 years. She also pleaded guilty to unlawfully placing a child at risk of or cause harm or willfully abandoning a child, which has a max sentence of 10 years. Under our Constitution, you're allowed to plead guilty to something that you may not have done and that you can ex uh, say you're innocent of. So that's the benefit of a North Carolina versus Alford plea. Judge Roger Young says it's unusual for Johnson to avoid pleading guilty to the full charges or wanting a jury trial. He insisted that she understood what she was doing, replying that she did. She has no remorse for what she's done. And I think if she was going to plead guilty, she might as well own up to what she did. She knows what she did. And for her to take the Alford plea is just a coward. This is just a very tragic case for everybody involved. Nobody could ever imagine losing a child. Um, my client lost the child in a way too. And she loved the kid. She babysitted him for years. And it's, it's just a, tr a true tragedy all around. Young says she has some things to be thankful for. I'm happy that I don't have to go to trial. That's probably the only positive thing out of it. I hope for the best. I mean, that's, that she gets the max. That's all I can do. Now, Johnson has been placed on house arrest, except for having to go to the doctor, church, or the vet without an ankle monitor until her sentencing on April 23rd. In Berkeley County, Anna Harris, Live 5 News. A horse in Charleston County had to be put down because of being infected with West Nile.